we're going to be adding and subtracting functions. For example, if you have a function f and a function g, and if you add them together, it makes a new function. But really, you can just add the two functions together. But we rewrite it as f plus g of x because it is some new function. All right. The first thing we're going to discuss is evaluating the functions when we add two functions together and when we subtract two functions together. And always remember that when we evaluate functions at a value for x, we're really finding a y-coordinate in the ordered pair. So our result should be a number. So the first thing I'm going to do is write f plus g of x as f of x plus g of x. So that way when I write f plus g of 2, I can see that everything is identical. The parentheses, the f, the addition sign, g, the parentheses. And the only thing that changed was the x value. And the x is now replaced with the number 2. Therefore, we will replace every x with the number 2. So we get f of 2 plus g of 2. And notice now the x's were replaced by the number 2 as it was on the left side. Now we evaluate each function given to us above at the x value 2 and then add those two values together. So now we, I'll put in parentheses 2 times 2 squared plus 2 minus 3 plus negative 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 1. And if you don't see it, this is f of 2 and this is g of 2. Just being careful with our operations. 2 times 2 squared, that would be 8, plus 2 minus 3, plus, now be careful here, 2 squared is 4, and 4 times a negative would be negative 4, minus 4, plus 1. And then we get um, 10 minus 3 is 7, minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8, plus 1 is minus 7, so plus a negative 7. So 7 plus a negative 7 would be 0. So f plus g of 2 is equal to 0. Essentially what this is, is an ordered pair where the x value is 2 and the y value is 0. For the new function f plus g.